We've talked on tonight's show about David Evans' habit of spuriously launching disciplinary investigations against members. Last week, we talked about how the chair of Young Labour got caught in that net. And now, apparently, a left-wing MP has also been subject to yeah, these, these spurious investigations which fall apart under the, the, you know, the smallest bit of scrutiny. Um, it's Kate Osborne. She was one of the 2019 intake, as I say, on the left of the party. And she has tweeted the following statement. Without warning this morning, the Labour Party served me with a notice of investigation making serious allegations of breach of the party rules. I was shocked and unnerved by getting such a letter and was puzzled at what the party was saying about me. I thought my job as an MP was on the line and that I faced public shaming in front of my constituents, as some will always say there's no smoke without fire. Well, there is. The charges were completely baseless. The evidence relied on made no sense. There never was anything that was a breach of the rules. I was told I could not discuss the matter with anyone except Samaritans. Luckily, I had access to immediate legal advice and my solicitor wrote a very strongly worded letter utterly rejecting the allegations. Shortly after the legal letter, the party withdrew the investigation, claiming it was an administrative error and apologised for the mistake and the distress it had caused. I had been put through a very worrying ordeal for no valid reason whatsoever. She goes on, what does this say about an apparent mission to threaten members with expulsion from their own party? There is little, if any, consideration being given to the impact on members of receiving such threatening letters. An apology after the event is one thing, but the effect is awful. How many members have had similar letters but do not have access to specialist legal advice? I am one of the fortunate ones, but how many others are left stewing whilst ill-considered baseless allegations are rained down upon them. It is time for a serious rethink by those running the governance and legal unit about what they are doing to members. I have decided to speak out because if they come after elected MPs with baseless claims, they will come after others. We need a serious look at ourselves and what is happening to our party. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me throughout this very difficult day, particularly my union, Unite. Wow. Aaron. Um, this is exactly the same as, as that investigation they launched into the chair of Young Labour, it seems. Now, this is the same thing has been done to Kate Osborne MP, where they sort of send a spurious letter saying we're starting an investigation. The Labour Party is challenged on it, and the Labour Party says, oh, it's an administrative error. As if disciplinary investigations are someone hitting the wrong button. You know, it, it just seems like the party machine is completely out of control. Mm. Well, Michael, I'm very sad that you haven't mentioned I broke this story actually shortly before, uh, shortly before uh, Kate Osborne tweeted that. Uh, oh, uh, you know, you should have uh, told me a bit of. You should be bigging up the organisation. Well, I mean, we were going live shortly before, so uh, shortly after, rather. I mean, I think I, I tweeted the story about half an hour earlier. Um, I knew a bit early on, but I, I hadn't seen any documentary evidence, and uh, I can I can tell our audience tonight the reason that she was being investigated is because she said to Rebecca Long Bailey when she was suspended, solidarity. That was her offence. That was it. Wow. Was it. Well, Rebecca Long Bailey also was never suspended, right? So that was when <clears throat> Rebecca Long Bailey had to resign from the front bench. So that wasn't a suspension. Yeah. No. She, and she, well, I don't, well, I don't believe she was investigated. I mean, maybe she was, but <clears throat> which, which, which is an important point, Michael, because a lot of people said that. Is every single person who said solidarity to Rebecca Long Bailey when she lost her position in the shadow front bench, is every single person now under investigation? Uh, and you said it's an organisation out of control. I think it's actually worse than that. It's not the organization here. I think this is rogue elements within the organization that are out of control. This is the very same day where the Labour's NEC implemented rule changes, which basically are, are, are the EHRC recommendations about what the disciplinary process should look like. They've changed the rules to basically integrate those into the party. The very same day where they sort of talk about, oh, we're creating an independent disciplinary structure and Annalise uh, Dodds is saying that, you know, we're going to deal with this terrible issue. The very same day, her own colleague is contacted and told that she's going to be investigated. She doesn't know by who. I don't think it's by, the, uh, by GLUE, the governance and legal unit. Presumably, like with Jess Barnard, it's just rogue elements close to Lotto, close to the leader's office and David Evans and Keir Starmer. And she kicks back and then they disappear. Is this another error? You know, so we, we clearly this is the complete opposite of an independent complaints process, clearly. And I think it is really important, Michael. I think obviously the EHRC don't care. Obviously they don't care. But I think somebody needs to say, look, this is clearly not compliant with the recommendations you laid out in the report, clearly. 
you know, we're not just talking about, you know, um, Bill and Ben, two local members up the road who sit, sit over, you know, a pint in the dog and duck and have a, a couple of lagers. This is the head of Young Labour and Labour Party MP. And I think there are many, many more. It's just that it's not public knowledge yet. Um, is, this about, is this about intimidating the left? Absolutely. Does it show that there's effectively no discipline in the party's disciplinary process? Absolutely. Is Keir Starmer or David Evans going to do anything about it? No, nothing at all. Um, I, I don't think it's going to stop. Uh, this is just about quotidian wearing people down to get them out. That's the whole point of this, Michael. And I think the thing that really disgusts me the most is saying you can't tell anybody, but you can talk to the Samaritans about it if you're feeling suicidal. I mean, this is abusive behavior, Michael. This is abusive behavior. If an employer said this to a member of staff, people on the left, socialists, even center-left melts who think Keir Starmer is the, you know, the best thing since sliced bread, would say, what an appalling employer. People like Ian Dunn or James O'Brien would say, what a terrible employer. Are they going to do the same thing now? Because it's become the default in Keir Starmer's Labour Party. Presumably they're not because they, they happen to agree politically with the guy. So we have a double standing going on. I think it's just remarkable. I mean, Christ, do you think these people are going to change the, the labor market in the interest of working people when they treat their own people like this? When they lay off workers and uh, impose redundancies and don't consult? And when they have MPs, their colleagues in parliament treated like trash? No. Judge people what they do, not by what they say. We've got some comments on this. Saul with a fiver. Solidarity Kate Osborne MP. Coincidence that the labor investigation into her was withdrawn straight after her solicitor wrote the party a letter Obviously not a coincidence. And this is, you know, really important to mention because this is the same as, as what happened with Jess Barnard, which is that they only withdrew the investigation after, in her case, she tweeted about it and it got a lot of traction from people with, with lots of followers. Um, in this case, it only got withdrawn after a, a solicitor's letter was sent. And I think what this tells us is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. These spurious investigations, these spurious suspensions are happening everywhere to hundreds and hundreds of, of Labour members. And many of them won't have the clout on, on Twitter as the chair of Young Labour or won't have a solicitor as good as an elected MP. You know, these are, you know, the most significant, important roles you can really have in the Labour Party, an MP or a chair of one of its, you know, constituent organisations. And these people are getting these letters. There will be loads, loads, loads more people getting these letters who are not in such a strong position to resist them. And I, I think this does just show us, you know, what a, what a disastrous state the Labour Party is, is currently in.